The new for 1968 Charger was a huge hit for Dodge, climbing from 15,000 units sold to nearly 100,000. Dodge had a winner in the B-Body for 1969, and they were not going to change this combination too much. On the outside, the slight changes amounted to a grill separator and side marker lights. The tail light treatment had also changed. Gone were the four round bullet type lenses, replaced by side to side rectangular lenses. The only way a customer could get a Hemi charger was to order it as part of the RT package. The RT version stood for road and track. This was the high performance model of the charger and came with the 440 Magnum, four barrel carburetor and torque flight automatic transmission. A Hearst shifter was standard with the 4-speed 833, but the center console was an option. Cone clutches replaced the previous disc-type clutch, and test of the day showed the Charger running 13 nines in the quarter mile at 101 miles per hour. It did not take much tweaking to get the car to run into the low 13s. The RT also received a suspension upgrade, dual exhaust, beefed up manual brakes, and the famous Scat Pack Bumblebee Stripe. The rear stripe was part of the RT package, but it could be deleted if the customer requested. When it was deleted, Dodge added a small RT emblem at the rear of the quarter panels. The 426 option cars also received a small Hemi emblem at the front of each door. To increase stiffness, the Hemi B-Body cars received an oversized torque box that was also used on the convertible charger and other Mopar B-Body drop top cars. For the lucky few who checked off the RT upgrade option, they got to own one of the all-time legendary muscle cars of the era. Option E74 got them the 425 horsepower 426 Hemi power plant. This option increased the overall cost by $648. The Elephant Motor produced 490 foot-pounds of torque on a car that weighed just under 3,800 pounds. They only sold 432 of these cars in North America, and they are one of the most prized collector cars in the hobby today. Here's our 1969 Dodge Charger Hemi RT. In 1969, the only way you could get a Charger with a Hemi in it was an RT package. Mopars were famous for documenting all their options on a fender tag. In this case, this car had an E74 code, which meant it's a real Hemi car. This car also came equipped with bucket seats and a column shift. When this Dodge flip top fuel gas cap was first introduced, designers had envisioned it being on both sides of the car, but it was a bit cost prohibitive and they lost that option in production. This is an unrestored 37,000 mile three owner factory Dodge Charger Hemi. The motor is the original 69 block, but it's been updated slightly with aluminum heads, a little bit higher compression to give it a little bit more punch. And this car is particularly rare. They only made 432 of these in 1969. They also sent 29 more to Canada for delivery up there. The car is in excellent condition, it's unrestored, and the value has to be somewhere upwards of $100,000. Once again, we want to thank Skip and Neil for bringing their Charger out today. We really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. It's a great car.